G'day, Luke here from Cotton Tree Meats. The whole idea behind slow cooking is obviously take those more tougher cuts that have higher fat strands, coarser textures, and braise them down to create that beautiful flavor and tenderness that you can only achieve through slow cooking. Uh, so when we talk low and slow cooking, uh, it can be broken down into a few categories. So you have your smoking, which is generally done in an offset smoker, a Weber kettle, um, you've got upright uh, water smokers is another popular one. And then you step into your slow cooker, which is probably the most popular. Very, very popular in the, in the family household. You know, mum and dad leave for work in the morning, throw some meat in the slow cooker, come home, it's done. It's a nice hearty meal, especially on a winter's night. Uh, the next method is braising. Very similar to slow cooking, but it's generally done in the oven, um, sort of around that 140 to 160 degrees. You can generally turn out the same sort of meals as a slow cooker, but just in a little bit shorter time. So around that sort of maybe six, four to six hours compared to a slow cooker where you just let it go for eight to 10, um, no worries. Both reach that beautiful depth of flavor, which um, is really second to none. The fourth one, which is probably the least common out of them all is sous vide, uh, which is done in a water bath. So generally your water bath sits at around, depending on what protein you're cooking. If you're cooking a lamb backstrap, you'd sit it around that sort of 65 degrees and give it a couple of hours just so it cooks that meat almost from the inside out so you get that perfect pinkness. If you are smoking, um, your most popular cuts are your pork shoulder, uh, beautiful for that pulled pork. You've got your pork ribs. Uh, we do a nice St. Louis rib with plenty of meat on top. Um, you walk into your, your beef, so you've got your beef brisket, which is always a fan favorite. Your beef shorties, beef short ribs, personal favorite of mine. You see today, we've got that beautiful, nice smoke ring on it, beautiful bark on the outside you create off that smoke effect. Uh, Brahmin hump, which is the newest sort of craze almost in the low and slow world. Um, so it's a beautiful textured meat. It's, it's highly fatty, but when that fat renders down, you get an absolute beautiful texture and flavor out of it. They call it the Wagyu of low and slow cooking because it has got that beautiful inner muscle fat. Uh, you step into your lamb, so obviously your lamb ribs and lamb shoulder as we cook today. Beautiful meat, pulls up off the bone. And lamb and smoke just work really well together. Um, smoke and lamb is probably one of my favorite proteins to smoke. I just, I just enjoy the flavor that smoke brings to lamb, especially using a nice hardwood, an oak wood. Um, it, yeah, it's, it's really quite nice. The cuts we used today for the slow cooker were the lamb shank and the ozabuco. So your lamb shank and your ozabuco are the exact same cut of meat, obviously just from different animals. Your ozabuco being the shank of the beef and obviously your lamb shank being the shank of the lamb. Um, so the reason obviously we cut the ozabuco is it's quite a bigger shape, but both meats braise down beautifully because they tend to hold that lovely shape. So if you want to give low and slow cooking a go, make sure you pop in store and have a chat to the boys. We've got a beautiful selection of low and slow meats. Everything from lamb shanks for the slow cooker through to some beautiful beef briskets to chuck on the smoker. So come in store, spend $50 or more on any low and slow products between now and the 26th of August for your chance to win a Hark Tri-Fire Offset Smoker valued at $850.